What's going on? How y'all doing? This video going to be about Ikea, the furniture place in Atlanta. One of the honor Juneteenth. One of the, the black employees. You know, you think you're going to get a nice cuisine. You're going to get this top of the line, you know. you. We're going to honor you. We're going to be enlightened. You know, Ash, Ashri Arbery, Breonna Taylor... George Floyd, you thought you seen Black Lives Matter. You seen a whole year pandemic. You know we're gonna we're gonna really embrace Black folks. We're we're gonna show you some changes. We're gonna be enlightened. They honored Juneteenth honoring Black folks with chicken and watermelon. <laughs> I can't make this up. This is in Atlanta, too. Supposed to be the black Mecca. You always hear how Atlanta's like the black Mecca, the paradise for black folks. You know, and I feel just like the cat was in uh, Men's Society when he told Jada Pinkers, he said, I, you know, I don't talk. I ain't going to go into all that, but you know how he said. It. It's not no, it ain't like no utopia. You still black in America. Stop romanticizing it. Ikea furniture would do this in Atlanta. Chicken and watermelon. What if you're vegetarian? What if you're vegan? Maybe you didn't grow up around chicken or watermelon. Maybe you don't. Maybe you eat pineapple. Maybe you're allergic to watermelon. Did they think? No. No, 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 no. See, the thing about it is a lot of these white folks in America think like cavemen. And I say this a lot. The technology we have is 100 years old and it's a very beautiful, powerful thing. But man is like caveman. It's like 10 years old. And when it comes to diversity and seeing people differently and thinking that you're more, we, you know, too often than not, it gives people the benefit of the doubt to thinking they're more advanced than what they are. But they show you who they really are. As the late Denny Green when he was coaching Arizona Cardinals and his team choked against the, uh, was it his team was against the Bears? He said, they are who we thought they were. Well, this is who we thought they were. It never fails without fail. Corporate America still sees the plantation. You be good now. We gonna be making sure you be getting sis chickens and you gonna be getting some watermelons. And y'all like some collard greens. Was Fuzzy Zeller behind this? Is he still alive? Somebody help me out with that. Because you remember what Fuzzy Zeller said about Tiger Woods when he tore up the masses back in 97. So y'all make sure y'all don't put them collard greens and them ham hocks and the watermelons and them chitlins in there. You need to take heed to this. Systematic institutionalized racism and it does not equate. I hope they get their behind sued off. I hope they get embarrassed all over the world and back. This is one of the reasons why we need reparations. You know why? Because we get paid to show you how we are as evolved and where we eat and where we are. You can't go around watching an old episode of Good Times and thinking this is going to fly in 2021. And I love Good Times. Good Times is one of the greatest shows ever. But I'm just saying, yeah, no. Oh, you can't watch Gone with the Wind and say, oh, Hattie McDaniel, this is what she would be liking. See, you have to stop this and you have to counter it. More often than not, this go along, get along crap and this racial institutionalization of what we are and how it's perceived. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They ought to be ashamed. They need to be fit to be sued and embarrassed. They need to sit down and eat chicken and watermelon. They need to be the butler and the maid. See, wouldn't it be, how funny would it be if we could flip birth of the nation? How funny would it be if black folks really became the superior and white folks was inferior in this country? And then we see who be sniggling and thinking they can pull this off. This insensitive off because they don't think people, black folks have evolved and they said that's what they be liking. This nice southern hospitality food and this it is that time of the year. This is what they bees about. This is how they bees. This is what they think, you see. And like Ice Cube said, no Vaseline. This is what they think about you. 
This is what they think about you. Stop shuffling. Don't shuffle. I tell anybody the job. Give me the give me the bonus. Don't give me no food. Don't give me nothing. Cause what you think is gonna be cool might get your behind split in the two, and you already got a backside. Stop thinking that you know about black folk. You don't know. You can be offensive, and you've been allowed to because of white privilege. And this is embarrassing, but this is not shocking or surprising. Come on now, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? They probably are upset when they go to Walmart, go somewhere, and they don't see Aunt your Mama on the cover of the of the syrup. You know that. Stop. You already know. You already know. They probably mad that she got the perm. They probably say, how come she can't wear that bonnet on her head no more? Because if they're going to bring chicken and waffles, they're looking for Aunt your Mama with the bonnet on her head. You already know. Please hit the like, subscribe. I welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, these places always show you what they think of you. Why do you expect anything different in America with three Ks? I'm out.